Hello, everybody, and welcome to This Xbox Life, episode 454, Xbox One X, hands-on. I am one of your hosts, Mark, a.k.a. Wingman709, and with me, as always, is my bestest buddy, Rob. Hey, what's up, everybody? Hello. And we got a special guest. Uh, you know what? We don't have a special guest. I'll just... This is Brun's replacement. So you see, Brun got fired. You know, Rob and I were really upset with him last time when yeah. he was on last week because we found out while he's on his vacation and his time off that he didn't even bother to listen to us. So uh, we replaced him with uh, Jesus Walks A Lot. So welcome to the show, Jesus. Woohoo! Hey, 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 hey. Thank you for having me on, Wingman. Thank you for inviting me on the show. So, oh, man, I'm so stoked to talk to you tonight. And uh, <laughs> the title will tell you why I am super excited to talk to Jesus tonight. So we're going to jump into that pretty darn quick because I can't wait. But uh, <laughs> before we do, you can listen to us every week live on Twitch TV, um, Sundays at 10 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. Pacific. And I'll let you all figure out your own time zones if you are outside of those two. Uh, so let's jump into what we've been playing. So Rob... We'll start with you. Sure, not a whole lot, just some pinball with X3. Um, and I think that's about it. Can't really remember if I played anything else. At least nothing notable. Okay. <laughs> nothing mobile? I'm done. What about mobile? Oh, mobile, of course. Clash Royale, the ridiculous duel. <laughs> that I played, of course. All right, and for the record, Jesus is not a traitor. <laughs> I'm seeing that already yeah. in the, uh, yeah. the chat. I see so. that in the chat there. What's going on? I don't know. No. Um, <laughs> he's not a traitor, people. Come on. Um, I know it's just a joke. But, uh, <laughs> all right. So, Jesus, well, what did you play this week? Uh, so, this week, I haven't played a whole bunch. I mean, it's just, I've been waiting for the Xbox One X, right? So, I haven't played a whole bunch. But I did get to play this morning a game that I would love to talk about. And it's Fortnite Battle Royale. And I got to play with uh, with the squad mode, you know. So it was me, Ryan Gibson. Uh, I think it was uh, Clint, and who else? Papa Wolfie. So it's Joshua Wolf, I think. And we were all playing together. We were just, uh, you know, we were in a squad. It's just four people, and <laughs> and it's crazy because you have to coordinate when to jump out of the party bus, you know. So the the bus <laughs> is flying over the island, and you guys are got to like time and like, all right, guys, count down three. Two, one, and then everybody has to jump out. Like, okay, which way did you go, left or right? And then you have to find like the one person and follow them, and it gets pretty wild. I mean, it's the same exact mode as the other one where you have to survive like a free for all, except you have a few teammates with you. You know, so you have four people with you, and just one person out of the team has to survive the entire match, which was really hard, and none of us made it. I think the closest we got was to like maybe. 16th place and that, that was ryan he got killed at the end by two people that tag teamed him <laughs> and, and then the last match we were playing it was me and josh we were the last ones left and these dudes uh you know how in fortnite you can build you can build in the in the pvp right you can build like towers or buildings or whatever with the resources you have right well these guys went in and they uh they built an underground bunker so what they were doing was they would they would stick their heads out of the bunker. They would open the door, run up the stairs, you know, look around real quick, see us coming, wait for us to get close enough. They would hide under the like you know under the grass, jump out of there, kill us, and then take our guns and hide them back in the bunker, and then just drop them off in there, and, and then they would just go back up and do the same thing to everybody. It was crazy. Um, I've never seen that being you know been done before, but they managed to do it somehow, and that's crazy. Um, but besides that, I haven't played uh, much else, guys. I played uh, some Forza 7 today. And uh, so I went to Portland today, and I want to talk about this, because I went to go and, and try the Xbox One X, Wingman. You know, right now Microsoft is having their big... Oh, uh, can we hold off on that just for a moment? Okay. Yeah, okay, but, but that's, gonna, that's Forza... our first topic, but go ahead. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and so, so I tried some Forza 7, of course, and of course I played some Halo... And I played a few other games, and, but that's really it. I mean, in all honesty, I'm just waiting for the Xbox One X. This week, I'll probably be playing Shadow of War. Um, 
<laughs> Sorry, I just got this <laughs> chill run through my body. <laughs> what do you mean? Nice. Uh, well, I, like, I'd rather play like Destiny. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, man. You know, that, that game looks really good. I mean, even though I kind of didn't like the first one, I'm like on the same boat you are on. You're, you know, I don't know what was going on. I just got in there like, what is going on? Now, <laughs> I don't know what it is. Maybe the 4K has me hyped. <laughs> I have no clue what it is, <laughs> man. I don't know what it is. Um, but I'm excited for that kind of. Um, but in all honesty, I want to kind of wait for it for my Xbox One X for me to actually get into it very deep. Right. But yeah, that's all I've been playing, dude. All right. So this week, um, I did play some Cuphead. I have, I mainly was just showing my kids how to play it. Um, I don't think my daughter or my youngest son. My youngest son thinks that's really neat, but he he's not going to be able to get very far at all. He just doesn't have the, he's just, I don't know, too young. <laughs> he's, it's uh, going to be way too hard for him. Uh, my daughter showed really no interest. My oldest son thought it was kind of cool. And he, he beat the, um, uh, the garden level bosses on his very first run. But oh, wow. uh, he, he did watch me and he did watch me play it a couple of times before I handed the controller to him. And also I didn't, when I went through the game, I didn't take this, there's um, you get some coins and you can buy one upgrade right off the bat. I went with the extra heart because I heard, oh, this game's harder. But what happens is when you grab the extra life, it actually lowers like the damage that you do with your weapons. What I found was there's another thing called um, I can't remember what it's called, but you shoot this green shot instead of the traditional blue shot, and it like will track. It's almost like a you can be facing backwards from the boss and shooting and they'll curve around and go hit the boss. So like you can just, and I remapped my controllers so that the fire button is the right trigger. So I can just hold that. And then I got my thumb free to jump so I can constantly be shooting, um, which really helps. And then this way, no matter which way you jump, your shots are going right to the boss. They're like homing shots, but they don't do near, they do like less than half the amount of damage of the regular shot. So it takes a lot longer but I just found it a lot easier, especially with the carrot level um, on that garden thing. You you on simple mode, you fight a potato, and then when you beat him, the carrot comes up, and you fight him. And he's got carrot little carrots coming from all these different angles. And with that that firing uh, like auto lock on thing, it you can just I can just sit there and go back and forth, back and forth, and my shots will take out those things easy breezy, um, and I can clear that thing with no health lost. Um, so I did that, and then I handed the controller to my oldest, and he he did the same thing. He beat it in one run. So, wow. I'm like, ah, yeah. I'm like, this is he's gonna like this. <laughs> um, I, I try to get my my brother to play that this week. I, I was like, you should try, man. And he uh, he went to that same level, the potato one, and uh-huh. he couldn't even. I think it was like he lasted like maybe two minutes trying to play the game, <laughs> and he's like, nope, this game is not for me. That's, I, that was his. That's it. He just stopped playing it and went back to his other game. It's hard. Um, I've only beat... <laughs> so I beat the first island. I beat all the bosses on the first island. And the weird thing is, is I was watching you play on Mixer one day, Jesus, and you were playing mm-hmm. the the riverboat one with the two frogs. Yeah. And I was watching you for a long time on that one. And then when I got to that one, and I know it's because I watched you, I beat that in one run. Wow, <laughs> and I'm like, because well, you kind of, you kind of knew what they were gonna do next. Yeah, right? kind of like, yeah, okay, exactly. Yeah. So I had sat and watched you do it, and that's the only reason. I mean, that's the only one that I ever did that. And I hate the stupid jawbreaker, man. Um, that thing <laughs> yeah. just stinks. Yeah. And it was funny because I was watching you play him, and I was just th- so many times I'm thinking, well, why did you do that, or why didn't you go into the corner, or why, you know? And then I played it. I'm like, oh. <laughs> It's not no, so easy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're watching people play and going, well, I can't believe these people suck. Yeah, just play the game. It's a different story. It's not <laughs> It's not as easy as you might think from watching it. But yeah, um, I, I don't think I'm going to. I tried a couple guys on the island, too, and I got nowhere. <laughs> I was like, oh, I think I'm done. I don't think I'll get any further. But um, this is a game I like watching people play this game. It's really neat. Played a bunch of Pinball FX3. Um, uh, Ryan from Horrible Gamers, where where Jesus is from. That's uh, be sure to check out Horrible Gamers every Saturday. Um, they they broadcast. Um, 
they Ryan uh, has a bunch of scores, and I was like beating a bunch this weekend, and and then he turns around and rebeats them again. So we're him and I are like competing. Uh, also, Gunny Chief has a table. So Gunny, I know you're watching right now. I beat one of your scores last night on the Back to the Future. So get to work, pal. <laughs> you are now beneath both Ryan and myself, unless you've played it since then and beat my score. Um, also, a game you forgot, Jesus which Gunny and you and I all played yesterday, was Zombie Army Trilogy. Oh, yeah, totally. That um, game was fun. Oh, that game is so much fun. And it it's so much better when you're playing with friends. Um, and uh, it, it it's just I'm having an absolute blast with it. Uh, it's just, and we were even, we did a horde mode um, at one point yesterday. Oh, I think Friday, maybe it was Friday mm-hmm. um, that Gunny and I did it. And then Saturday, I think, when we were waiting for Gunny while he was taking getting his beauty nap. <laughs> um, we so we played the same one it's it's like this horde mode and we were playing like you're in this alley and it's so much fun you just stay at one end of the alley you just keep shooting they just come down and it just we get the we got the wave 11 and it was just like we just got so overrun but it's just so much fun just to sit there and just like just nail them as it's like if they're coming at you it's just, i love it it's some people might say, "Well, it's kind of boring. You're not running around. You're, but it's like, no, you're taking a defensive position, and just yeah. that's stressful when they start getting in and <laughs> getting close to you. Yeah, when when you when you see them armored up and then you're taking shots and they're just keep they keep walking and you're like, "Whoa, man, I just shot you in the head. What's going on here?" Exactly. So, um, but yeah, that I really enjoy that game. So I'm looking forward to hopefully the three of us can hook up again next weekend uh, and For sure. play some more in that campaign. But that's what I played. So we're going to switch gears here. Um, if you wish to support us, you can support the show um, by going to thisxboxlife.com forward slash Patreon. Uh, this is a, a monthly subscription where you would set the amount you want to donate to the show every month. Uh, if you want to do a one-time donation, go to thisxboxlife.com forward slash donate, and you can donate that way, again, any amount that you want. Uh, their tips are not expected, but they are greatly appreciated. All right, so now we just need to get to the meat of the show, and this is what everyone showed up for. It's the only reason I'm here tonight. (laughs) (laughs) So, Jesus, you got your hand. You are fresh. I mean, talking what? Less than, what, an hour and a half ago, 90 minutes ago, you were holding an Xbox One X controller. It definitely was, yes. I I got to know about, tell us all about the event. (laughs) Rob and I are just going to shut up for the next hour. (laughs) (laughs) It it wasn't that big of a deal, man. You know, they're doing like this world. I don't know if it's a world tour or a nationwide tour, um, but they're basically taking the Xbox One X and they're kind of promoting it around the country, you know, different events and different things going on. And the second stop was Portland, Oregon. So me and Jonathan Hall, one of the listeners from Horrible Gamers, and I think he listens to your show as well because he was mentioning you guys earlier today. Um, we, we drove to Portland and, and we went to the store and a you know, Microsoft store right there in Pioneer Square. Um, there was quite a bit of people in line. We weren't expecting that many people, you know, we were like, oh, maybe 20 people will show up for this thing. No, it was quite a bit of people showed up and a lot of kids, a lot of adults, a lot of random people that you were just like, wow, it's like a good mixture of people. You know, it's not just all kids. It's some adults in here is mixed in as well. Um, so we went in and we got to try the Xbox One X and the, the Xbox One S, and then we got to see the Minecraft one, which looks really cool. Um, so I played Forza 7 on the Xbox One X. And man, <laughs> man, wait, man, that game. Pretty? It's so beautiful. It's like, I've never seen a game that looks so pretty, like, ever in my life, I think. How, how does it compare to the regular Xbox? Like, if you had the demo. So I, I did. I actually, I, I did play the demo on the Xbox One yeah. S. You're right. Um, you definitely get to see the, the different lighting effects on the Xbox One X. And you get to see like the, a little bit of more, just more detail in the cars, the way the rain hits it. You see the raindrops and you see it when you're turning around a corner. You, you might not see the raindrops going on a straight ahead, but you turn a corner and you kind of see the raindrops on top of the car, you know, just sitting there. Um, they had a different map. Uh, I forget what, what map I raced on, but it was like all sandy. And instead of the rain effects, it had like the sand going across the track, which was really cool looking. Um, so that that game was really the one thing they were showcasing. I was expecting them to show me more. I was expecting them to show me maybe Halo 5 in 4K or Gears of War in 4K. 
But apparently they're not doing that. Apparently they just want to show off Forza, and I get why. Because that game is like the showcase. That is the masterpiece they have made, and it's definitely a beautiful game. <laughs> um, with that being said, you know, the, the console that was being played on was the Scorpio edition. They did have one of those there. And that console looks pretty cool. Um, seeing it in person really... <laughs> <laughs> it really doesn't do it justice when you see it in the pictures because you don't really see the contrast between the white and like the blackish color. You kind of just, it looks kind of gray in the pictures, but in, in real life, it's like super dark gray, almost black, and it goes to like this whitish silver color, which looks really cool. And it has the Scorpio edition on there and all that. The console itself is really cool looking, guys. I like how the disc drive is on the bottom of the of the lip now. It kind of looks like it has no disc drive, which is kind of like... You know, really doesn't matter if it has one or not at this point, I think. Um, so it's kind of hidden on the bottom of the console there, like in the little lip. You see the disc drive in there. Um, and, but that's really it. I mean, the other cool thing I got to try there was the Oculus VR, <laughs> which was really, really interesting. Um, so there was two different things you can do there. You can watch videos and you can do rock climbing. <laughs> so I watched the videos. Jonathan did both, actually, because he got lucky. He was, like, the first person to try it out. And while they were setting up other people, um, he was getting to try everything. He was just like, oh, I'm just staying here and keep playing this because the guy is busy. And he's not going to take me off of here. So I got to see him almost fall over a few times doing the rock climbing. Because, nice. yeah, because, I mean, he's trying to reach up. <laughs> and he's, like, leaning forward. And he's like, oh, man, he's like, I'm about to fall. <laughs> it was just hilarious watching him, like, almost fall over because he's trying to reach for these ledges, you know, and you – and when you're wearing the headset, you look down, you look around you, and you feel like you're, like, on the side of a cliff, you know? Oh, man. And um, so and then the other mode was, uh, like, you get to, like, see, like, different videos. So, like, when you're in a forest and you look around you, you're in, like, this forest. You see these animals in front of you. Another one, you're, like, in like on the moon, and there's an alien standing in front of you, and you get to look at him kind of like, whoa, like, you look kind of weird. And then... A really cool one was you're like on the edge of like this building on a rooftop and it's like a city and it's all lit up at night and you're looking over the edge of the building and it tells you like I dare you to look over the edge and you look over the edge and you feel like you're going to fall because I felt like I was going to fall almost. <laughs> and uh, but I mean, am I excited for the Xbox One X still? Definitely. I'm definitely going to still get one. It was funny because the guy the guy at the stores, you know, they're trying to get you to pre-order. They're like, oh, you know, you can pre-order one right now, you know, zero down, you know, come pick it up at the midnight launch on November 7th. And I was like, dude, like, I already got mine pre-ordered, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, did, did you a long cancel, time ago, dude. <laughs> did you cancel your, your Project Scorpio pre-order because it didn't like the green letters? Or I still you, have it pre-ordered. You still have it, okay. I still have it. So I'm still debating between the two. The hard part for me, Wingman, on getting the Scorpio is that I want to trade in my old Xbox towards it, right? Towards the new Xbox to kind of offset the cost by like 70 bucks or whatever. It ain't much. But I don't want to ship it to Amazon like two weeks early, right. wait for them to process, and then do all that, and then have the credit in the account before they ship out the new one. You know, while I could just go like into GameStop and hand them the Xbox the same day I'm going to pick up the new one, you know? True. That changes everything for me. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, I can't I can't go two weeks without my Xbox, man. I think I I lose my mind. No kidding. <laughs> um But yeah, dude. I mean I'm really I'm hyped for the Xbox One X. I'm i I'm excited for it. I really want it. I can't wait to see what like games like Battlefield One are going to look like on there. I mean Dishonored Two. Um you know, games like that, Assassin's Creed, uh, Battlefront, Star Wars Battlefront 2 is going to look amazing on there. Because I was playing that oh, this week in the beta. And I was like, man, this game looks good. Now imagine what it's going to look like on the Xbox One X. You know? Yeah. Um, that's going to be amazing. It's going to be a great experience. Um, and yeah. Another thing being said, though, if you are looking for an Xbox One S and you like Minecraft, that Minecraft console is really sweet. It looks so cool, man. Like, they have the red, like the red, uh, the, the, what's that red, uh, the thing that powers everything in Minecraft. What's it called? <laughs> the red, red liquid. Oh, yeah, the redstone. Yeah, the redstone. They have that on the bottom of the console, like when you oh, lift wow. it up. Yeah, and you look at the back of it, it has all the ports, and you look at the top, it has the grass, and on the side, it has the dirt, like, graphics. It oh, looks wow. really cool, man. The, the way they designed that console looks really neat. 
And yeah, if you're totally, if you have a kid that's into Minecraft or you're looking for an Xbox One S, I suggest you pick that up. Because I think I'm going to pick that up for my kid this Christmas because she loves Minecraft. And I think she would really enjoy having that Xbox One S. Mm. But yeah, that's really it, man. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm, I'm hyped. I really want the Xbox One X. I wish it could be like in my hands right now, but it's not. It four was weeks. in my hands earlier today. Only four weeks away, man. Four weeks. That's crazy. Four, well, four weeks from Tuesday. So we're what? Four weeks and two days. <laughs> Close yeah, four weeks, and, and, yeah. And for those people, and and for those people who play on the uh, Xbox, you know, One S or have like a a 1080p TV, and they're like, oh man, but I don't have a 4K TV. But I don't have a 4K TV. It's like, don't worry about the 4K TV. Just buy the Xbox One X. You know, have it because you're gonna still get great experiences out of it. And I think just the load times and all that is gonna make it worth it in the end. You know. And it will improve the visuals on the game. So the games that are running, like, you know, like, for example, we'll say Forza 5. Well, Forza is probably a bad one. But Gears, I mean, even Gears of War, you know, the previous ones that were running at, like, seven, nine 900p, they're now going to, you're going to get that 1080p on them. They're going to look better even on a 1080p TV. So, and you do, you get the faster load times and stuff like that. So... But, you know, yeah, I think if uh, you don't have the H- the 4K and you already have an Xbox, you know, $500 is expensive to put out for visuals. You may not drastically know the difference, yeah. but it does prep you for, you know, when you do get a 4K TV in your house. So Yeah, and then one thing that I've, <laughs> I hear a lot of confusion on the Xbox One X, man, even from friends, you know, like even Jonathan today was telling me, like, well, I thought like the backwards compatibility for the original Xbox was only going to work on the Xbox One X, and I was like, "No, man, that's going to work on everything." And he's like, "What?" Yeah, <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, it works it's, on everything." What are you talking about? It's the same console. It, that's the thing. It's yeah. so the Xbox One, the Xbox One S, and the Xbox One X will all run the same accessories. They'll all run so your controllers, your headsets, and stuff like that will all work, uh, it, and it'll play every single game. So any game that runs on original Xbox One, day one edition, will run on the X. And currently, anything yeah. that runs on the X will run on the Xbox One, day one edition, as well as the S. <laughs> However, yeah. the X, it's going to look better. It's going to run better. It's going to be faster. And I think, like, I think Rob has said it before, you know, they said it's going to be, it's the Xbox One, period. You know, so the games are going to work across all three of their consoles eventually yeah. people awesome. are probably going to end up moving to the X anyways, because the developers are going to want to push it, but you're going to find like, well, on the S it doesn't work as well or something, you know, depending on how they do the games, you know, if they have, here's the base game and then here's the 4k assets that are attached. If you have it and they're going to run, you know, pretty much the same, just not going to look as nice on an S, but yeah, yeah, that's so. for sure, man. Like, don't don't be afraid to grab you know an S or an X either one I mean they're both great systems I don't think they sell the original much the original one like not anymore. anymore no not yeah, anymore it's done you could probably find it like in stores and stock somewhere but I wouldn't recommend it I uh, just get the S I mean you can buy an S for like two forty nine with a game or t- some of them even come with two games so there's look for yeah. those bundles if 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 money's a deal then just yeah get an S or stay with what you have whichever category you fell into but you know i'm with you jesus i i you know was going to get forza 7 but i haven't and i'm holding off because i'm like if i buy it now i'll play it now and mm-hmm. then i'll burn myself out on it and then i won't want to play it it's i'm just so i'm waiting until my ex arrives then i will get forza 7 and that i'm probably planning that to be the first game i play on it so we'll we'll see um, really no Call of Duty World War Two. I'm not get, I'm, I'm not getting it this time. <laughs> I've, I've said that the last yes, two years. I've said, no, year. but the last two years I said I'm not buying it, and I usually wait till about six months in, you know, in the summer when there's nothing to get or you're bored. Um, but I'm not. I'm. I have no. I have no desire to play those campaigns. They just. Um, they've gotten boring for me, and I don't. I'm just not competitive anymore. I like horde mode or co-op co-op campaigns or co-op uh multiplayer style 
stuff. I, I just not competitive. I don't care for that. And that's to be honest, that's what Call of Duty is all about. It is the multiplayer. I mean, the stories yeah. usually are pretty good, but you know, there's five hours and then what? You know, you're I'm done with it. <laughs> yeah. So that's true. So yeah. Um I'm, man, I'll, yeah. Just, but I'm just I was thinking of, about this today and I was thinking to myself, man, I hate fall sometimes. I just it's ridiculous how many games come out in such a short amount of time. It's just, it really is, man. Like, you, you look at the list. I mean, this, you know, this month we have Shadow of War, we have South Park, we have The Evil Within, you know, uh, Wolfenstein 2, Assassin's Creed, Mario. You have all these games coming out, like, in one month, and then next month another whole list of games, and then the month after that another list of games. It's just, man, no good. No good. It's weird. I like. I feel like there's just nothing to get this holiday. For me. Really? Yeah, but it's it's just. I don't know. I think, like, I I got burned out on Assassin's Creed, even though <laughs> that's gonna look amazing. It is. I have no desire or interest in it anymore. I've just been completely burned out on that series. Um, I'm burned out on Call of Duty. Um, the only things I'm really planning to get are Forza, and I really don't even want Forza, because. <laughs> It's the same game. I've bought in every Forza and Forza Rising game ever. And I'm like, it's just the same thing, but it's going to look prettier. But now it's like, because I'm going to have a 4K TV and I'm getting the X, it's like, I have to buy it. And then I feel like I have yeah. to buy it because I've bought every other one, you know? Um, so I'm going to get that battle, the Battlefront 2. I'm only getting that because of it has a campaign in it. Um, hmm. But I will say that I've been watching some of the multiplayer beta and i didn't do it because i'm like nope i don't i'm gonna get it i just don't want to play it now um so I, I avoided that this weekend but it looks really good i've watched it on mixer and i'm pretty impressed with what i've seen but i just want to play that story you know yeah i wish the first good. one had a story yeah. <laughs> yeah it'll be fun um what about you rob are you are you excited for the xbox one x are you gonna get one yeah i've got it pre-ordered Awesome. And uh, I don't know. I'm probably just going to go back and uh, replay, <laughs> replay a lot of the um, enhanced titles. I don't know what I'll. I don't know really, man. Just out of all the games that are coming out, it's like I'd almost rather play like some of the older stuff and like redo it. Doritos yeah. Dash 4K. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean. <laughs> See, one that I'm really on the fence for is the Tomb Raider. Because that, that one is a like a full purchase, isn't it? Mm. Isn't that like a new release now? The Rise of the Tomb Raider, or is that an enhanced title? It's an enhanced title, isn't it? I don't remember. Because cause they came out last year for the Xbox right. One. Yeah. And all, then this year... It's all free you? upgrades. Yeah, all the all enhanced upgrades. stuff for the 4K is going to be free. Because, I mean, when that That's one good. came, when the Definitive Edition came out, so that was the 360 version, now on Xbox One X. I played through the whole thing again. So Rise of the Tomb Raider came out on Xbox One. Maybe I just have to kind of redo the same thing um, and, and play the enhanced version and relive all of the Tomb Raider goodness Yeah, and not get stuck like I did a couple of times. But, uh, you know... As much as I love Forza, like the whole franchise, and I'm talking about the regular one, I love Horizon so much better. Oh yeah. I so if they were coming out with a Horizon with a Horizon title, I would be all over it. But Forza Seven, mm, I don't know. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's realistic, almost too realistic. But <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm definitely getting the console. You're getting the console. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah for sure, for sure. Yeah, you're not like a uh, Brun. You know? No, no, that, <clears throat> that guy, guy. He just waits on everything. <laughs> a host who shall not be named. <laughs> but we we oh, have free man. reign to talk bad about him because he doesn't listen yeah. to us. So. <laughs> no, he doesn't right. even listen to you know. guys. Come on. <laughs> Uh, does does Forza Horizon Three is that going to receive one of those uh, Xbox One X upgrades? Three? Oh, yeah, the Forza two, that came out last three. year, the yeah. or 
Horizon, yeah, the one that came oh, that's out last a good year. Question. I feel like it should. Yeah. Hmm. I can tell Let me you see here. See if I can find it out. Yeah, it's um. So if you go to majornelson.com, they've got a mm-hmm. link right at the top. Oh, oh, where did that go? Um. So there's Uh-oh. the story. Then they have links to. Oh, here it is. Uh, there's the link in there. They have a bunch of links to pre-order the console. So, but um, Xbox One X enhanced. Let me see. They got a list of over 130 games. Yeah. Oh, here you mm-hmm. go. So, Forza, Forza Horizon 3 is on the list. Oh, awesome. See, like me. There you go. There you go, Rob. You're going to play Forza Horizon 3, man. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Oh, now I know why you're getting a Xbox One X. Farming what? Simulator 17 in 4K. <laughs> Oh man, Ooh. that's that's, a, that's all I'm waiting for, man. Those the simulator games. <laughs> Those soybeans never looked so real. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna look so good. But there's so many games. Like I mean, people fail to realize how many games are going to be enhanced, right? Like they all just they're all everybody's saying like, oh well, where's all the exclusives? Where's all the games coming out this fall? And it's like, well, maybe they don't have a lot of games coming out this fall, but they do have a lot of games being enhanced with the Xbox One X. Well, see, and this this is what I think is neat because this is the thing. There's already more games when this thing comes out, and now, and people are saying, "Well, there's no there's no exclusives for the X." Well, that's because it's not it's not segmenting the the community. It, it's that's right. There, it's, it's not a new new console. Right. Like, it's not the next Xbox. Yeah. This is <laughs> hey, if you want Bleeding Edge, here you go. Here, spend the money and get it. But they already have more. So on, on November 7th, there will be more games uh, available that day that have enhanced the visuals with, that will be 4K ready, that will be exclusive to the X because they're all 4K games. There will be more that day than there was ever released for the PS4 Pro in the whole first year it was out. Wow. That's why so, I didn't know that. And that's that's that's, that's a fact. I'm not just trying to bash Sony. I'm just... <laughs> It's the truth. You're just making stuff up. I'm not. but And yes, I understand a lot of these are, well, you, you could say, yeah, but when, you know, that's 90% of them are all old games. The point being is that these developers have gone back to those and created these 4K updates. So if they're going to do that for older games, you know they're excited and they will be doing the max they can on the Xbox One X when it comes out for all the new stuff. So this is a good sign. This is, you know, so you don't have to, you know, look at, again, reality and the facts. And if the facts were bad against the X, then I would state that. I think this is a really good sign because you're seeing older stuff getting. uh, Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls (laughs) is on this list. They're going to upgrade that to 4K. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to go back to Diablo 3. I want to see that sucker in 4K. Yeah. I can't imagine that thing. And it's going to look great. So here's a possible little dilemma about all of that. Okay, so there's going to be some new titles coming out, like the Assassin's Creed. There's that one with that little fox guy, right? Lucky's Tale. Fox, Lucky's, Lucky's Tale, Tale yeah. Something. Yeah. There's that. Um... Super Lucky's Tale. And then it was what? <laughs> Shadow of something? Shadow of War? Shadow of War? Shadow of War, yeah. Middle Earth. So Middle Earth, yeah, Middle Earth, Shadow of War. I mean, all those games are going to be coming out basically supporting the new system out of the gate. Mm -hmm. And basically, you know, just better colors, you know, better graphics and all that. Maybe running really smooth, real nice. Now, when you go back to those old, old titles, like, for example... Um, with Rise of the Tomb Raider. I mean, I think I finished almost the whole game. I didn't collect everything yet. So I'm in the process of collecting some of the stuff. So if you go and you pick up one of those enhanced titles, you fire that thing up, are you going to want to start it from the beginning or from where you left off? Do you whack your saves on there, for example? Do you just delete them out, start it from scratch to get the whole experience with... (laughs) The better yeah. graphics. I mean, yeah. what do you do? What What would you guys want to do? It depends on the game. Yeah, for yeah. like, that's why I'm <laughs> not. Some you don't want to relive. Well, Forza Seven. That's why I haven't touched it. I'm not buying it. I'm not. Yeah, yeah I could download it right now and get the full package and not touch it, yeah. but I'm not gonna do it. I just would rather wait <laughs> because I'm like, if I get bored, I'll be like, you know, and you got a new game sitting there. It's like, 
Mm-hmm. Okay, it's not it's not on my box. I'd actually have to go buy it. It's mentally, I'm like, okay, I don't own it yet. But if I already downloaded it, it's sitting there. I'm like, ooh, I see everybody else playing it. Let me check it out. No, I want to wait for the for the glory. Um, games like Diablo three, I'll go back and start a new character, you know, and play through it. And, mm-hmm. that, and that's you know, um, Titanfall two, I might have to play the campaign over again. Uh, the division, no. That one, I'm looking at the list of what they're some of the stuff that's going. <laughs> I wouldn't replay that one over. That's <laughs> just too long to of a game. But like yeah. Ghost Recon Wildlands, um, that's a long campaign as well. But I do own the two DLC packs that I have yet to play. So now I'm holding off until the the 4K updates out for that, and then I can go back and play that and get that DLC, which is new content to a game already played. But I'll see it; it'll look even better. And that'll be cool to see. So. Yeah, but I mean, who wants to go back and restart Skyrim? <laughs> uh, probably a lot of people, man. It seems like that uh, well, game. Yeah, I mean, yeah <laughs> probably a lot of people. But, I mean, I wouldn't want to restart that. Or, like, you know, there's games that you already beat. You know, there's a lot of these games where you sure. already finished them. And you're like, do I want to really replay that? It's like, do I already beat Tomb Raider? Do I want to go back and replay that? Yeah, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't. You see, like, with Definitive Edition, I replayed the whole thing, and it was awesome. It was still just as good as the first time. But there are some games that they hit that painful level towards the second half of the playthrough. (laughs) (laughs) Those are the ones that, no, no. You just continue or maybe you just play some <laughs> yeah. levels or something. Right. If and the thing is if you hit if you hit a wall on something and you haven't played it for a while, then seeing it in the four K, maybe you can go back and get past it. You've been away from it long enough that, you know, it doesn't matter, you don't want to repeat it. Let's just see if I can continue from here and it's just gonna <laughs> look better. Yeah. You know. But uh Wolfenstein two, the new Colossus, Rob. Yeah. It's on the list. Can I Cannot wait. Oh, that game's gonna be good. I'm I'm excited for that game. I really am. I mean, I'm the thing is the problem with that game is it comes out like a day before Origins does, or a day after, something like that. Yeah, it's like right next to Assassin's Creed, and I'm getting mm-hmm. Assassin's Creed, and then like that's what I'm thinking as well. I'm like, should I just wait on Assassin's Creed and play it on the new Xbox? October twenty. Or should I try it? Yeah, or should I try it for a few days? For the same day. See how it looks, mm-hmm. and then play it on the Xbox One X and see the enhancements. Yeah, uh, just switch and continue. Yeah, because everything's in the cloud, right? All your saves are in the cloud. It doesn't matter yeah. where you yeah. save on. I mean, all that's in the cloud. So, um, G fifty five train said we could go back to play Mass Effect to, to see the faces in four K. <laughs> no, is that an Andromeda is such a horrible is, game. It, I would never. I. No, that I don't even think it's on the list. I'll double check, no, but because that game's crazy. basically been discontinued, they're done with it because it that's sucks so, so bad. That's so sad, man. I really enjoyed that game. <laughs> I don't get how you liked Andromeda. I loved I, it, man. Oh. I just loved it. I love Mass Effect. That's my love for Mass Effect overshadowed all the problems with the game. No, I didn't even care about the facials and stuff. I just found the game just to be really? boring as could be. I just. You know, I just wanted, I just want more Shepard, man. I think, and there was yeah. something with this formula that just, this was different. There was, it just didn't work for me. I, I, it, like I said, I don't care about all the, <laughs> the facial animations and stuff like that. That, I didn't even care about that. I just found the game boring, which was sad because I love Mass Effect too as well. So, or Mass Effect series as well. So. Yeah, well, um, yeah, and I, I mean, I really enjoyed that game, and I kind of wish it was on the list, man. Man, got me sad. <laughs> all right. All right. But yeah, that's about it, man. We're all excited for the Xbox One X. Obviously, you guys are an Xbox podcast. I know you guys are excited, and I'm excited, man. And I want to know, are they going to come with VR for the Xbox One X? Is that going to be a thing? I honestly believe yeah. that they are going to, um, because this essentially is a Windows 10 box, and I think that what's going to happen, I'm still waiting for the, I think next E3 is what you'll find out uh, that they may just say, yeah, you can attach any, you know, they'll probably have support for 
uh, the two main headsets. Uh, what is it? Vive and Oculus. Oculus. I mm-hmm. think I think you'll just be able to plug them in and run the games. I mean, it's a Windows 10 box. It's a Windows 10 PC. It's just you know. And yeah. I think it would get better performance just because they're they're you know if they write a game for the Xbox with one of those, they have, the hardware is all the same. <laughs> so. But yeah, well, um, yeah, I don't I'm, think I'm it's doing very well. I don't think VR is doing very well from what I've been hearing. Well, I mean, Sony just kind of doubled down on it recently. I mean, releasing that new HDR one, the HDR headset. Doesn't mean it's doing well just because Sony said so. <laughs> yeah, I think they're just trying to like get those people that want HDR but don't have a TV yet. They're trying yeah. to get those people. <laughs> good trick, Sony, good trick. Anyways, I'm done, Wingman. If you want to move on to news, if you have news. Yep, I got to, let me see. So I want to figure out, trying to figure out how to turn something off. There we go. Um, I don't, it's hard. If So if you're on Twitch, you can see this. And I apologize, the picture's not that clear because of our, it's our background. And it's kind of grayed out a little bit, but you can still see it. So every, and I thought this was kind of neat. Um, Xbox One X on the circuit board. Uh, so this is an Easter egg you're not going to be able to see unless you want to void out your warranty. <laughs> but if you <laughs> if you bust open your Xbox One X and look at the circuit board, every single Xbox One X will have a Master Chief sitting on the back of a scorpion. I don't know if you guys had seen that, um, but if you guys, uh, yeah, it's it it's just kind of cool. Um, even in the real picture, it's kind of kind of hard to see it, but you can the little finger guy uh, right next to the finger, so just to the left of that guy's finger in our image, you can kind of make out that's a little like a little little Master Chief riding on a scorpion. So I think that's kind of like cool. a motocross guy. <laughs> the scorpion doesn't look like a Master Chief to me. I'm not buying it. That's Master Chief's Fake. helmet. <laughs> <laughs> so click click the link, Rob, and then then actually click the image in the link, and it'll bring it up closer for you. I mean, but Master Chief, why didn't they put like a, a gears cog in there or like uh, something like that? I mean, Master Chief a is four all is a seven. A Forza 7 car or something. Because <laughs> Master Chief is synonymous with Xbox. Yeah, but so, so is Gears of War. Gears of War no, is not as much as Halo, though. I mean, it, really? it is. Really? But... I mean, you think Gears of War, you think Xbox. You I think do. Halo. I think, I think you think, I think most people probably go, you think of Gears of War, I think you think of Marcus Phoenix or the Lancer, the chainsaw gun. That's what yeah, you, but think you, think, you think. You think you think of Halo, Halo or Master Chief. You think oh Xbox, <laughs> or, or you think Destiny, which is on PlayStation mostly. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Nah, nah. Ah, or they could have done like uh, Master Chief giving Marcus Phoenix a piggyback ride or something. Yeah, something. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's still kind of uh, a neat little Easter egg thing. I thought. Yeah. That's in there. So. No, it's you cool. don't have to like it. <laughs> no, a lot of companies do some cool stuff like this. Like uh, I remember way back when on the Amiga, I used to have an old Amiga 1000, and then a lot of the people that designed it actually like wrote their names on the underside of the case. That's awesome. And uh, you know, there's like little images like this on various products. It's so cool. it's cool that they did that. Yeah, too bad we'll never get to see it because <laughs> I get to void out your warranty there. Well, Gunny, Gunny Chief said it. he's going to break one open with a screwdriver when it launches. So. Okay, that's... <laughs> so we'll tell him you to do some video. <laughs> Here's his true unboxing, <laughs> the full yeah. unboxing. He'll take it unboxing, out of the box unboxing. and then bring a screwdriver out and continue to open it up. <laughs> so oh, catch man. that on video, Gunny. We want to see it. That's right. So... All or right. you just have to wait until what? November seventh or eighth, twenty eighteen? Was it a year warranty on those or is yeah, it ninety like days now? Year, unless you buy the extended warranty thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's probably ninety days. Yeah. 
90 days. <laughs> 90 <laughs> minutes. 91 days. Bam! Popping that baby with a screwdriver. Oh, man. So. All right. Set a calendar thing. <laughs> so. All right. Um, okay, Rob. I think you got a story for us. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I am not prepared. Okay. Uh, one thing in the latest Insiders update, uh, if you're on the Insiders program, uh, you can go through and see a whole slew of new settings that they have where you can prepare your system for the Xbox One X. So there's a couple of things you can do in advance. And uh, basically, there's like a check system. Like um, There's like four things that they have because I was looking at this earlier today. And it's kind of neat. So the first thing that you can do is you can uh, check this one box where it'll download the 4K game content currently to your current, actually, let me rephrase that. Those enhanced games that we're talking about, you can download that content to your box right now. It won't use any of it until you get the Xbox One X, but it'll be there ready and waiting for you when you move your hard drive over or whatever you're going to do. So that's one thing you can do. You can uh, enable your box for network transfer. I think this is something we talked about last week where you will be able to transfer content from Xbox to Xbox across either Wi-Fi or wired network. You don't have to re-download everything if you're not going to be moving hard drives over. And uh, the other thing it'll do is it lets you back up your settings. And now these are your settings, you know, like what your background is and various Xbox settings. You can save that to external storage. So when that moves over to the new system, let's say if you're going to move your external drive over, uh, it can be pulled into your new system. So you don't have to set that all up from scratch. So uh, this came out on the latest update. I think I got it within the last couple of days. And there was also a pretty neat uh, little video that they had when I booted up my Xbox for the first time post-update where it actually showed you some of the new stuff that was available in the fall update. And if you've been an insider program for a while, I mean, a lot of the stuff is, you know, things that came out weeks ago. That's one thing that's anticlimactic, I guess, about being in the insider program. By the time it gets out to everybody and everybody's like, oh, look at these new features. It's like, oh, what? Oh, oh yeah, that's a thing I've had for a while. You know, yeah, it was so weird. <laughs> I was on the uh, my original Xbox yeah. in the family room, and it doesn't have, you know, it has the, I say the old dashboard, but it's really the current dashboard. But I was like, wait a minute, how do I, you know, I'm like, I've already adjusted to the new one. And it's like, yeah. wait, where is my games and apps at? Even though it's still on the same page, it's just, yep. it throws me off because it's not the same. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it's like, man, when are they going to, I want the new one on this. <laughs> What's this is old. Out? This is an old update. I was like, man, yeah. I should, I should enroll this box in the insider program. I was going to say. <laughs> well, my kids say. use that and they, they get frustrated because every time they turn it on, it seems to need an update. Yeah. I don't want that. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. I absolutely <laughs> know what you mean. Did you see that video that they came out with? I, I actually you skipped don't... it. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> I figured it was, actually... it was the same thing I watched before, you know, but maybe it isn't. So I think you no, can I... still probably watch it if you go down to the welcome screen or what's new at the bottom. I think it'll probably still have the video. Yeah, or Xbox Assist or whatever it's called. Yeah. But the video is actually kind of neat. It actually explains how to you know hit the xbox button and then you can scroll through between what is it uh you have you can like hit the bumpers for example for all that stuff up on the top right <laughs> <laughs> like uh what settings and oh, clubs achievements and, and all. friends and achievements yeah 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 so it explains that really well and, and how to pin games and you Does know it tell it's you cool how to pin clubs that. Does it tell you how to pin clubs? Because it has stated no, on the board in the so. little image that you can pin clubs, and I've yet to find a way to do it. I don't see an option to pin a club, which I would really yeah, like just, to do. Yeah, they were just talking about how you can basically pin a game from anywhere. You can pin a person, and uh, you know you can put what like store stuff in there, like what games with gold. Right. They really went into that. I don't think they talked about clubs, but maybe you can't. 
Who knows? But it says on their thing, pin clubs. Like, there's an image. Okay, maybe you can. Like, you click it, and it's one of those stupid things. Like, you click it, and it comes up with this, like, doesn't say anything. It's like a video, but it's just, like, this black screen with these green outlines of all the boxes, and it shows, like, it X, and, it, and like, it shows you moving stuff around, but it doesn't tell you how to pin clubs. So I'm mm-hmm. like, hmm, you need to fix a, the fix this image and take that out if I can't do it, because that's the one thing I want to do. So, That'll come in an update on Tuesday, probably. Maybe. Who knows? <laughs> or something like that. So, I'm calling you out, Microsoft. Oh, uh, so, and I know I know there was a request for a rant, so let me rant. Gosh darn it, they say I can do something, <laughs> and I can't do it. Microsoft sucks. I hate them. I'm, I'm canceling my pre-orders. <laughs> I'm going to Sony, <laughs> baby. That's it. <laughs> End of the rant. <laughs> PS4 Pro Life? That doesn't yeah. count. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go to the inferior console. <laughs> to some but, people, it's it's the best console out there. They have the exclusives. Remember, they, they just don't know. We're gonna be the <laughs> we're gonna have the exclusives. 4K, <laughs> true 4K. <laughs> it, it's funny how people say <laughs> PlayStation has like a hundred exclusives or whatever coming out, and like just yesterday on our show, the horrible gamers, we were talking about like game releases on October, and like. Yeah, Sony has a lot of games coming out this this month. They have like at least maybe ten exclusives or maybe eight of them just this month alone. Like every week, they have like two or three, but they're all like Japanese games, like oh. like really Japanese games. Like they're in Japanese, right? So yeah. like, I'm like, who wants to play this? Who who buys this stuff? I don't. I mean, maybe people Japanese. in Japan. Japanese people do obviously, <laughs> yeah. but like, who in America is buying this stuff? I'm not. I, mean, I don't know. Yeah, we uh, we talked about that, and I went on that. I don't know. It was a couple months ago about you know this list of exclusives from Sony, and you know people, and I was like, yeah, it's it's night. You know, ninety five percent of that list is only going to apply to people in Japan. And then of course I got, you don't know what you're talking about, man. We people everywhere buy <laughs> what this about stuff. Horizon? And I'm like, I'm like, okay, whatever. <laughs> It's just like they don't want to compare apples to apples, you know, and that's the thing. It's like I don't mind if Sony's better at something than, hey, they got VR. We don't. Cool. I can sit there and say, yeah, come on, Microsoft. And I've said I want Microsoft to do it so that we can at least say, yes, we check the box that we have it. I don't think we need it. I think it, it's, it's, it's not anything I have any desire to. And, and from what I'm seeing on sales of this stuff. I don't think it's going to be the big hit. It's like 3D. No, you know, 3D TVs were the big rage. You know, uh, TVs are great. No one has a 3D TV that I know of. You know, I've yet to ever go to someone's house and go, "Hey, we're going to watch this movie here. Put these hundred and fifty dollar pair of glasses on to watch this movie." Like, you know, no some people like they're listening to you that are really mad right now. They're like, "I don't care. Nah, I, I have two 3D TVs in my house." <laughs> Okay, so there's there there he there's the one who bought both that sold last year. You know, congratulations, I'm proud of you. You're super cool. You know, but it's like, I don't even when I go to the movies, I'm like, uh, could I get the non 3D version of that? You know, yeah. They they charge you more for it. Plus, I got to put a pair of glasses on over my glasses. That doesn't work. You know, probably you got probably close to 50 percent, if not more, of the population wearing glasses and they're going to go here, put another pair on top. It doesn't work. You know, it just doesn't work. And that's why the technology is no good. And, you know, the whole VR thing is is kind of similar. You can get some that will fit with your glasses, but it still is a hindrance. You know, they, you can't yeah. make something that is only good for people who have, you know, perfect vision. You know, your marketplace <laughs> just shrunk. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. If you can put contacts in, I hate, I hate contacts, but, but I'm not saying <laughs> don't do it because there's a lot of people that want it. And that's cool. And that's like, I don't mind that Sony's got VR. That's great. You know, if people want that, go get the PlayStation and, or get a PC and get the VR set up. It's available you to you. A, if you want exclusives, get a Nintendo. <laughs> Totally. There you go. Exactly. They have like all the exclusives. Over there. They got the good exclusives. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, and and I, I went on my 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 faux rant just in time because I'm just jumped in just as I was doing that for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He <laughs> so, perfect timing. I saw that. Yeah. yeah. So. But no, man. I'm looking at your community questions and I like wow, wow. I think you're gonna rant about this dude's post, Wingman, if you haven't read it. Yeah. Um. 
Um, oh, yeah, probably from oh, Andrew. I see that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if, <laughs> yeah, let's. It's going to be a rant. I feel it. <laughs> well, oh, uh, we'll man. see. We'll see. I, yeah, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about it before I, we read it. But. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I, I do actually, believe he's in our Twitch watching, so. Oh, wow. That's good. Yeah. yeah. And he's from up. Australia. So we've got, and this is kind of cool. We've got people from Australia <laughs> on Twitch in our watching our Twitch and chatting with us. People from Canada, people from the U.S. I don't know if anyone else is outside of those three countries that are in there at the moment, but uh, I think it's pretty cool. We've got we're covering the world, baby. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, and if anyone else in Twitch is from another country, just sound off and we'll we'll announce it. So, but yeah, let's. Uh, Rob, okay. did you have any other yeah. news? Yeah. So l- okay. let me wrap that up. So. Then the last thing that they added in this update was now if you go to updates uh, in the uh, apps, games and apps uh, program or whatever, go to updates at the top right, you can now choose between apps, games, and Xbox One enhanced games. Uh, I immediately chose that to see if there's anything out there and there's nothing. So that was kind of a disappointment, but hey, the setting is there. And then uh, lastly, a little bit of a recap uh, of some of the news that happened over the past uh, week or so. Uh, This was kind of interesting. Now, do you guys remember? I got to interrupt real quick. Jesus, does he sound funny to you all of a sudden? He sounds like he's a robot. (laughs) Yeah. All of a sudden, you sound like kind of weird, and it's probably Skype. Yeah, Yeah. good old Skype. There, you're back. Okay. Okay. No, but... uh, one thing that they're doing or Microsoft is doing for the Xbox One X uh, Forza 7 or M- Motorsport 7 release is they're bringing back the onesies. Do you guys remember these? Oh, yeah. yeah. I wanted one of those. Yeah. From uh, what, like two years ago, three years yeah. ago, whenever that was with the last Forza game. <laughs> So yep. the onesie is back, and it actually looks pretty sweet. It looks like a race outfit, and uh, you know it's got the little Forza tag, and uh, you know it's it's pretty awesome. Unfortunately, it's only available in Australia. Why does Australia get all this cool stuff? Why? I don't know. Because they're just cool so, people, man. Yeah, <laughs> what, before I guess they were on store shelves. Now they're not. Uh, some were given out to media folks, and it looks like they're going to be doing some kind of a contest through the um, uh, through Facebook, giving them away to people. Man, so, I really want one. Yeah, so who knows? Maybe they'll be on the secondary market on eBay for like a thousand dollars. Yeah, they will. <laughs> <laughs> you know. How cool would it be to play Forza 7 on an Xbox One X and be overheating in a onesie? That'd be cool, <laughs> Just man. Just sweating like crazy. No, it gets pretty cold up here, so I think we'll be fine. <laughs> it's <laughs> wintertime almost, man. It's getting cold. <laughs> okay, and then, uh, you know, putting the onesie behind us. So with the Xbox One X, if you wanted to use a Connect, they or S Xbox One S. If you wanted to use the Connect, you got a free adapter. Remember that it was like yeah. uh, you give them a bunch of information, then they send this massive box out to you with uh, a huge power brick, I think it was, and all these connectors and cables. So when they were, when Microsoft was asked whether they were going to do this for the Xbox One X. They basically said, well, that program's over with. So I think that's a no. Ooh. Yeah. But really, who uses the Connect anyway? I do. Well, recently, <laughs> I, didn't, didn't Microsoft just add that feature where you can use a, a webcam on yes. Xbox? Yeah, that's in the latest updates, I believe. That's pretty cool, man. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, pretty much Connect is dead. <laughs> Let's face it. Yeah. yeah, I've been thinking about I use my connect is still hooked up. In fact, somebody, somebody asked me, well, who was the guy I was playing with us yesterday uh, while we were waiting on Gunny to get up from his nap? Johnny, Johnny don't. Johnny Andrew. don't. He was like, because remember I said, oh, Xbox take a screenshot, and he's like, yeah, you still have your connect, or was that you that one of you said that? And I was yeah, like, I think yeah, I said it. 
I was like, yeah, I still use it, but that's the only thing. I don't even, I used to use it to turn it on. I don't even do that anymore for some reason. Yeah. Um, I just, because you, you were like, you were like, Xbox record that. I was like, what? what? Did you just really say that? Yeah, that's, that's the best, that's the best feature. Because yeah. you don't have to like go and hit the button to stop, pause your game and then hit the button. It's just, you say it you, while you keep playing, but I probably won't put it on the, um, I, what I'm thinking of doing is probably putting the S in the family room, putting the connect in there, and then I'll take the original one, take that to my office, and then I'll keep my S here or my X down here, but without a connect. What they need to do is come out with like a replacement microphone. I'm surprised they didn't just put a yeah. like a mic. I would think you could put a mic right in the console. But maybe yeah, the, yeah. maybe like the, the noise of the of console like, would yeah. actually drown that out or something. I mean, well, my, like my maybe, S is quiet, but yeah, it seems that like the console's pretty quiet. Yeah, you're right. They should just put like one of those connect mics inside the console, and it'd be fine. Yeah, yeah, because the connect microphone that was like four microphones, I think. Yeah. I think it would work. I think you got yeah. a good idea there, Wingman. That's the updated Xbox One X there, next there year. There you go. There you go. <laughs> be a feature. <laughs> Alrighty. So, yeah, that's about it. All right. So let's move on. You can reach out to us uh, at our website, thesexboxlife.com. You can send us a voicemail. Uh, click right through the website there. You can click the little voicemail button on the right side of the web page. Uh, it will ask you to, can I, you know, you got to allow it permission to talk to your, uh, access your mic. So do say yes. Otherwise, it's not going to let you record. Um, but be sure to give us your gamer tag in the message, uh, and uh, we'll put you in the show. You can also email us, contact us at sexboxlife.com, or you can send us an email through the website as well on the contact tab at the top. And we did get some emails this week. So, uh, well, we didn't get emails. We got Facebook questions. So I put a question out there. So, why don't Rob, why don't you take our first one, and uh, then we'll let Jesus, you can take the second one, and then I'll. We'll go from there. We'll just go around, each taking a question. Okay, we're going to do the one from John first? Yep. Okay. John writes in, hey, guys, I picked up uh, for my son the new limited edition Microsoft, or Minecraft Xbox. It comes with the code for the full game. Since we already have the game, I thought I might like to give it away on the show. I thought you might like to give it away on the show. Here is the code for the full digital copy of Minecraft for Xbox. All right, here we go. 27CW7Q37CMJC3KWQ2XXXHJ3Z. Cool. Thanks, John. I almost took it myself for the for my kids but i was like no nah, i better not do that he said give it away in the show yeah you so, should just buy your kids the minecraft yes i should just do that bundle. but you know I've, <laughs> I've actually thought and i talked to my wife i better be careful how i say this but i was telling uh, her maybe we should get the switch for the kids Ooh. that way i can play rabbits mario it's <laughs> <laughs> a good excuse there. i like that See, plan, that's man. a good thing about kids it's for the children <laughs> yeah. yes how, how can your wife deny how can anyone deny yeah. when it's for the children yes <laughs> and you're making them all go to bed at 6 p.m <laughs> exactly that's awesome. go to bed dad's got to play video games <laughs> yeah i mean i, I kind of want to get a switch but i'm waiting for that mario mario bundle i think it comes out at the end of this month, hopefully they have enough in November. I think I'm going to get one. That'll look cool. Yeah. All right. Jesus, you got the next one. What, what am I looking at? Questions? For Sean. Oh, I'm sorry. Never mind. You don't You don't have this list. I apologize. I don't have that I list. I forgot to send yeah. it. All right. I was wondering, where is he reading this from? <laughs> so Sean writes in, um, and this is Mr. Sean I'm Spoiler, and since he's not on the show... I'll do it for him because if he was here, he likes to pimp himself out and self-promote. So he is the host of Horribly Awkward Podcast. So check him out. Just so you know, if the show starts with the words horribly, 
whether it's gamers or awkward, it's not family friendly. So you've been warned. <laughs> um, well, yeah, check out Horribly Awkward Podcast. Uh, Sean does a great job. He gets to interview uh, porno stars, movie stars, uh, video game voice actors, stuff like that. Um, it's it's pretty cool. Um, so he's very entertaining. So check him out. But he writes in, uh, we need Mark. We need a Mark rant. Any good enough to burn with? Any good enough to burn with your words this week? So um, I kind of did. I just don't have nothing to complain about yet. But give it time. I'm sure something will get under my skin soon. <laughs> but I tried yes. to give you a little bit of that earlier. There. <laughs> All right. Now Andrew writes in, and this is the one I think uh, Jesus you were yeah. talking about. So. I, I, I'll put it this way. When I read this one, I didn't realize who was writing it. I was like, oh, I'm not putting this in. This looks like a PlayStation fanboy. And then I saw who it was that posted. It's like, oh, okay. No, this is a, I know who this is. I'll, I'll read it. Um, so here we go. This is from Andrew from Down Under. He says, yes, maybe a rant on when Microsoft let me down. For example, I paid an extra $100 for a piece of hardware that was scarcely used. Um, which he's referring to the, the connect. And, and I would agree with that. I like the connect, but I do. It's like, it has gone away. And on the X, I'm like, yeah, I'm probably not going to put it on there just because I don't ever use it. Um, and so it's like, cause I think I can still use the S connector for the X. I can still plug it in and use it on the, on the X if I want. And I may still, but, um, well, yeah, I agree. It's like we had to pay that extra hundred dollars out the gate, which did hurt in sales of the Xbox One because it was a hundred dollars more than the uh, PlayStation. So that's that's the real reason the PlayStation's winning was the original price difference. So I would agree with that. Um, he also says I expected my. You know what? I gotta. I can tell I'm getting old. I need to, I need to zoom this page in. I need to do that by default. Everything to two hundred percent so I can read it. Um, okay, he says, I expected my Xbox One Gold to cover cost of exclusive productions by Microsoft, but instead was given only one documentary on the World Cup soccer and another one on the Atari 2600 game ET, both of which were actually pretty good. Um, I paid my, with my Gold subscription for server farms around the world to run my games, but instead I'm having to pay to upgrade for an Xbox One to an Xbox One X to do that very same job. I bought the Xbox One console with the purpose of enjoying Watch Dogs, but discovered that the Xbox version had very little to do visually with the advertised version. I waited and hoped for Scalebound to come out, but found out that the game was discontinued. How can it be that the company of the size of Microsoft that continues to enjoy my subscription is unable to uphold its promises on any of these? I'm not going to rant because... <clears throat> oh, I'm going to get you going. Oh, uh, okay, well... So I'm not going to rant because <laughs> I want to hear you I, rant, man. Come I, ag on. <laughs> I agree with some. It's frustrating. Poking the bear. It's it's frustrating <laughs> to <laughs> have stuff that's promised and then they don't deliver. Um, you know, we we were supposed to get the Halo show and then they're like, oh, we're going to do that to Showtime instead. Which like that one is one that irks me because it's like, what? <laughs> Halo's here because of Xbox and you know you're gonna make me go to a third party like Showtime and pay them money to watch a freaking Halo show <laughs> no forget it to heck with you uh uh not doing it but so I do agree with some of this I saw those two documentaries you're talking about I would have loved to have seen some more that they were both really interesting I don't even like soccer in that World Cup one it was very even, interesting I never even heard of the World Cup one I heard of the ET one I never heard of the World Cup one oh yeah it was uh and actually it was interactive the same time yeah. it was interactive like as you're watching it there would be like questions that you'd answer mm. like uh and you I think you would get points or something I don't remember but there, I remember there was like some kind of trivia question or there was like they'd have a picture from uh, a scene from the one of the episodes and you had to find like all these different things and you were moving the cursor around like find these different things so they kind of almost made a game out of it but it was kind of neat um I, <laughs> scale bound games get canceled it happens on sony it happens with nintendo um but yeah it seems like this past year a lot of stuff fable scale bound several others have been canceled when they're so close to being released that's why i've given up on the game that shall not be named because i've i've had 
I'm just I'm convinced now at this point that thing is going to get canceled. It's been yeah, same here. It's and I'm so frustrated by that. You know what that's called, Wee Man? What? Taking out the trash. <laughs> They're getting rid of all the bad games. They don't want to release bad games. No one wants to release bad games. They get you. Know, that's the problem, right? You release bad games, and then people say you have bad games. So what do you do? You don't release them. Well, what you do is you stop building up hype for them four or five years <laughs> in advance. You know, yeah. like, see, Sony's going to hit the same problem. They you are. know, you notice this last E3, everything they talked about was the same stuff they talked about last year because last year yes. they talked about everything that's five years out. So what are you yeah. going to do the next year when you haven't even delivered the games from the previous year? And you'll those are now about, four years out. You, you can't. just talk about things people like. <laughs> yeah, and it, it's like, a, you know, so... I love the way Microsoft is doing it. They're trying to keep stuff that's a little bit closer. They're still going, here's what's coming out this year, and then they might dive into the next coming forward. But it's not... Um... What am I... And why did my Xbox just turn on? Who was really excited for Scalebound? <laughs> Let's be real here. Were you guys excited for Scalebound? No. Personally, I thought the game looked lame. From the first time I saw it, with the dude putting on the Beats headphones and jumping on a dragon or whatever he was doing, it looked yeah. so lame. I was like, this it, game looks boring. What is this? You know, it looked like one of those uh, JRPGs a yeah. little bit, but the way that the dude was talking was so annoying. Like, his little comments or one-liners. Hey, let's go! Let's go! Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was annoying. I hated it. Like, I didn't like it. I'm glad they got rid of it. Yeah, it didn't affect me, but a lot of people wanted to see that game. Yeah. You know, and, and they just need to. Like dragons. I wish they'd stop trying to, hey, here, look what we got when they're so far out. They don't, you know, I like, who is it? Is it, um, was it Bethesda? Mm -hmm. That kind of like waits till it's almost about, they know it's going to ship in a month. And they're like, oh, by the way, here's the next Fallout game. You know, <laughs> it'll be available in three weeks. It's like, now I'm excited. What? You know, it's like, yeah. That's don't tell me something five years in a row that it's going to come because by the time you do that, I've already <laughs> lost interest. Yeah. You know, like I was so excited for Crackdown 3. I've been wanting, I've been, I had the, the wallpaper for years on every device I own. It's gone. I got rid of it. I'm done with it. I gave up on them. I'm like, forget you. You know, you can't, <laughs> you, you're going to promise me something for five years and not deliver. Forget it. That game is you done. Know? That game is done, Wingman. I don't it think is. it's going to It's come done, out. and it, it just kills me, man. I want that so bad. Um, <laughs> I want them to do say, good like, games, but don't promise, this, don't promise this crap and then not deliver on it. Yeah. But every, I, everybody does. I completely does. agree. I, I completely agree with you, but at the same time, I think, like I said before, you know, they're taking out the trash. They're taking out the bad games. No one wants to release bad games. Like, yeah, it looks cool. You have more exclusives, but if they're bad... You don't want that either, right? You don't, you don't want to be the console that has the bad games, so it might as well, well not right. release them. Right. <laughs> and, and with the guy saying that he had to buy a hundred, like he had to spend a hundred extra dollars for the for the piece of hardware that he barely used. You didn't have to spend the extra hundred dollars. You could have waited till the console no, came out cheaper. No, no that's, one put that's a gun not. To your that's head. not fair. Because no, no one put a gun to your head and told you to buy that, all right? No one did. You could have easily bought a PlayStation 4, you know. No one forced not, you to no, buy it. No, that's this, not even that's not even that's not right. That's it is, not even right. Because I, I feel like I mean for a hundred bucks, that thing did a lot more than people gave it credit for. It did a whole bunch of things. It could like do the Skype calling, you can turn on your Xbox with your voice. How many times have you turned on your PlayStation 4 with your voice? Well, you can't. Really? Exactly. You can't. And this is the thing. There's a lot more than people give it credit for. Just oh, because I, they think it's useless, because it, no games came out for it, I don't think it's useless. I think it's just God used the wrong, or they promoted it completely wrong. They should have just they, said this thing is for your living. They should have just. Uh, they should have had two versions: one with a Connect, one without, and had <laughs> the without for four hundred bucks, so that they had an actual competing product with the PlayStation. That's what that they should dumb. have done. Yeah, that was something. They, they the did that. force the Connect. And they forced an extra hundred dollars out of everybody's pocket for a device <laughs> that they were pushing and pushing on 360. And there's like what two games that use it now, and that's it on the one. And now they're not even they're getting rid of it. They're not even gonna bother going forward. Which to me seems stupid because you've got all these devices coming out, the Googles and Apples and uh, Alexa yeah. from Amazon. And, and all that. Yeah. yeah, and it's and you're using your voice. <laughs> you're you're talking. 
dude, I love my uh, Amazon Music app and the and and actually the Apple Music Store both just added voice. So in my Amazon Music on the very bottom far right, there's an Alexa button. I hit it and I just say, "Play Sounds of Silence by Disturbed," okay, and it plays it. She's like playing yeah. the song from your library, and she and it plays. And so now when I'm driving, I don't have to go through the thing. I just hit the button and I talk to it. Dude, it's it's, it's, it's amazing. And same with Siri. Siri will do the same. I'm sure that Android phones probably have it and they probably have had it for three years. And, you know, so I, we don't need all that. Oh, we've had that. But the whole voice thing is starting to come to fruition <laughs> in other devices. And now Microsoft is saying, well, we're going to get rid of it. Why? I love saying Xbox record that, Xbox turn on, which I guess I must have said because... My box turned on. My Xbox yeah. is on right now. <laughs> I, I'm like, all of a sudden, I'm like, did I just say it? But, you know, you can turn it on. You can turn it off. You can you can change channels. I mean, and I think it's something people don't use. It's like, you can say, watch TV or go to this channel, and it'll change the channel for you. You may not need it all, but it, it is convenient, <laughs> mm -hmm. especially on recording that, taking a screenshot. I don't have to stop my game to do that. I just say it, and it does it on the fly. Um, yeah. So I don't understand why they're going to get rid of that when we're starting to see voice in other things, other products. That's starting. That's going to be the norm. So that seems like a step backwards to me. Yeah. Well, they bail on products all the time. They do. Look at oh, Sony, man. Sony's notorious for that too. Like people say, Sony doesn't. Sony does it all the time. And Microsoft just dropped. Uh, what was the Groove? Yeah, yeah, that that too that, that just failed. Yeah, that I never. That's why I don't. That's why I was like, I didn't yeah. want to get into their whole movie TV thing, and I don't buy movies from them. I buy them through Vudu. Yeah, same here. And they've been around for ten years, and they got sales. And I just I have more confidence in a company like Vudu, who I know nothing about, <laughs> than I do Microsoft. Like I will not buy a movie. I'll rent movies through their service, but I've actually yeah. stopped doing it. I actually rent movies through Vudu now. Be and, yeah, and Voodoo because, is really good. yeah, and I've always thought the, the Microsoft Music and TV app that was great for renting movies. I never ever had a problem with them, uh, with the exception of once. Um, that was when I was traveling, but they, they fixed it for me. But, um, at home and renting movies, never had a problem. But I would never buy, and I've never bought a movie from them because I'm like, this service will get canceled at some point. They dropped mm -hmm. Zoom, they dropped the band they've dropped a groove <laughs> oh, they've, yeah. they've changed yeah, their man. music system three or four times and yeah. now they've just given up altogether I'm like yeah you're not getting my money for movies you know because you're gonna <laughs> drop it and i'll be i'll have to rebuy them again somewhere else so that that's my biggest beef towards microsoft what, what do you think about his comment though about saying that he pays for his gold a subscription for server farms around the world to run his games, but now instead he has to pay to upgrade from an Xbox One to the Xbox One X to do that very same job. I, um, so I what don't do you think? Like, I don't agree with that because yeah. there's some games that the server farms are based on not every game is going to use the cloud or they're not going to have dedicated servers. <laughs> some still use peer-to-peer. -peer. Um, yeah. The gold subscription is just to get you that live connection to play multiplayer and have leaderboards. And I mean, there's, there's more to Xbox live than just playing multiplayer. Um, Definitely. And we all are paying for it. Um, my, my recommendation is buy, don't buy your, your renewals, do a 12 month subscription and buy them from, what is that place? CD keys. CD keys. They're, yeah, they're dude, always totally. doing like 30, 40 bucks, 35, yeah. 40 bucks for a year. Uh, there was some the other day I saw it was like actually 15 months. Yep, um, for like 40 bucks. It's a weird process, and I know it might sound like people be a little hesitant. I'm hesitant every time I go to their site, but I have yeah. bought from them like the last <laughs> four or five years in a row because They're you good. get it almost at half price. So you can save your money by doing stuff like that. Um, but you got to be careful with CD keys. It's There's a lot of steps it takes to get it. And then you do you end up usually like with um, like I think there's some guy sitting there when your order comes in he has a stack of cards and he scratches off the code takes a picture of it and uploads it to you <laughs> yeah. because I've gotten those where it's a picture of someone you can tell it was a scratch card 
And yep. that's what. And I was like, "What the heck is this, man? I hope this works." But it has worked every <laughs> single time. I don't get any money from those guys. I'm not affiliated with them anyways. Funny. I've always been a little nervous, but it has always worked. And you know, yeah. so and they sell and, all kinds of stuff. They sell games on there too, right? Like yeah, digital they do. games and stuff. So, but yeah, uh, they were selling that. Uh, weren't they the ones that were selling Unity? For like a buck fifty, <laughs> they were they were like a dollar. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand that. That one I might be a little weary of. I still don't know how it all works and how they can give it away cheap. And I don't know, but it works. <laughs> yeah, I know a lot of people use that site. So, but... so so I have a question for you guys, for myself, for you two. And it's a question that I was asked yesterday on my show, but I want to see what you guys want to say about this. Because I was asked by Brian Tobe Jr., if there was one thing about the Xbox One X you would want to change or improve, what would it be? What would you want it to be? Uh, I what I what I just said. Put put the microphone into the front of the Xbox, so I don't That's... need to connect because I don't need the camera. And now that, especially now that you got a web camera, I mean, I sit too far away from the tv that even when i stream there's really no point for me to have the web camera on yeah. um I'll, i don't mind having a camera on if i'm playing at my pc and streaming because then you can see me but you're not going to see me I'm, I'm 12 14 feet away from the television you know you're not going to see me you're going to see my whole room um and, and you know people want to see and interact with the, the player and that just doesn't provide it so i don't use the camera take it out we don't need it i don't think um, but put the microphone there in the box so we can do the voice commands. I, I love doing voice commands. I use Alexa all the time in the house, my, you know, um, and now I'm using or more they, of my phone. They should, have, they should have like a little thing like the Wii had, you know, that like little bar that you would put like either on top or below the TV. Yeah. Do you guys remember that? Have yeah. something like that with the array microphone built into it because yeah. where you have the console, it might not always be able to pick up the sound. Like if it's in an entertainment center, right. or if it's down real low or something. Mm -hmm. So you can just have this like tiny little bar or something with the four mics, just put it by the TV and that's all you need. That's all you need for Alexa, not Alexa, Cortana or, or whatever usage. Yeah. Well, what about you, Rob? What is one thing that you would want to see improved on the Xbox One X or comes with it or, you know, something that the hardware itself has enhanced? So one thing I would love is for Microsoft to just have a freaking rechargeable controller. <laughs> really? So I don't have to buy this stuff <laughs> like the week or two after the console. Just have it like it's built in. Have some kind of like little dock or something on the console. Or maybe even you can just pop a controller right on top of it. Have like a little controller cradle. I mean, that would be kind of neat. I actually saw some controller cradles at the Microsoft store today that were really freaking cool, man. Yeah. They're like a, like you lay your controller on it, and the, the battery pack that comes with it has like a magnetic little strip on there that you lay it on the, the dock, and the controller oh, wow. sits there, and it charges it while yeah. you're – have it sitting there. It looks really cool. I've got, mm -hmm. I've got, I well, I had the, there, Rob, you can buy them on Amazon. I just replaced the one I bought originally and it, it stacks two of them. Uh, and they, you, they had a glowing color of red or green would let you know awesome. they're fully charged that those batteries after four years have basically died. And I found you couldn't buy replacement batteries, but I bought a brand new one and it's the same company. It's, they're branded by Energizer. But for okay. Xbox One, and I think the company is PDP, but this one's kind of the same. They stack, but they're a little bit different, and the lights are at mm -hmm. the bottom. But it'll give you a red or green light letting you know uh, if it's charging or when it's fully charged. And they just sit right there. So I've got a stand right next to my uh, table there. So I can just, when it when it dies, I stick it on the stand, and I grab the one above it, turn it on, yeah. and I keep playing. So, I mean, I, I kind of like would like that. It's like 30 bucks on Amazon or something. I think it was only like $30. I, I kind of would like that, Rob. I mean, I would like the rechargeable batteries, but at the same time, I wouldn't. Because once they go dead, I mean, you're going to have to replace the controller. Not the controller. Well, the way Rob is saying, right, where like they no. come like rechargeable, like on a... No, they can be like... Uh, removable? You know, it, it should be removable, so you can put in your double A's okay. if Which necessary. Which these are, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they they all but have it come with the console. I mean, that would be cool. Yeah, like a play and charge kit in there. Yeah, there you go. like 
I don't know if you guys can see this on, on camera. It's uh, one that I just, I used to have a Nyko and it was really huge. And then I just got this from Amazon. It's from a company called Jellycomb. It was on sale a couple weeks ago. And basically the controller kind of just fits. Oops. It fits like this. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So it just sits like this. You can put two of them on here. On the back, it's just got a micro USB plug. So I actually have my cable going into my Xbox One S. So um, it's it's kind of neat. It's, actually, let me put the other controller on here. So you can just have both controllers just sitting there charging. It takes up very little space. So this one was pretty neat. But, you know, Microsoft could easily come up with something. Or, I guess, uh, just have that built into the controller. Well, since they don't, with, just I put yeah. the link up for anybody that wants yeah. to look at the Amazon one that I bought. Um, it does hold two controllers. It's um, it's it's actually the picture though is different. Um, the one in this picture, which is interesting, the one in the picture is what I expected. That's what I used to have. The one that arrived is different. Um, let's see if I can find the one that actually arrived. Because you had the one where they used to sit like on top of each other, right? Yeah, this one still does. And it's by the mm, same company. I, I think it. it's just the newer version, and they haven't updated their images. This was the older oh, yeah. version by the same company. Mm -hmm. um, but I'll I'll see if I can uh, find because I I remember at one time there was like a recall on these PDP yeah. ones, but I don't think it wasn't the ones in the picture because that's what I had, and I hopefully it's not the new one they sent me. Shouldn't be. <laughs> mm. But yeah, uh, I'm looking at the, at the ones I saw at the Microsoft store. They're on the they're on the Microsoft store online and they're 40 bucks. That's kind of expensive for a, yeah. a one controller charging stand, but it's Xbox branded and everything. And you can have it like custom colors and stuff, but that's expensive. 40 bucks. I don't know if I could, yeah, that's, that's a lot of money for a stand. What was the <clears> one I, the one I got was 28 49. So, yeah, that's, that's a better price than 40 bucks, man. Especially you're only charging one controller at a time on that Xbox One. Um, yeah, I'm going to throw the link for the Jelly Comb in there just for lack of it. Awesome. But yeah, I mean, I, I agree with you guys. You know, uh, having the microphones and, and the chargeable controllers with the, with the new Xbox would be nice to have in there. I personally... Like I said yesterday, I would want a bigger hard drive. One terabyte is cool, and I understand we have external hard drives, but one terabyte really, like, really, we don't like, we don't like to delete things. Come on. Yeah, one terabyte, man. You could have easily done like a two terabyte in there, or maybe a one terabyte SSD hybrid thing that they did like the other time. You know, like the other Elite Xbox they did it with. Um, but yeah. I think the hard drive is kind of weak on the Xbox One X. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah. Um, but yeah. If you guys, you guys have oh, more man. questions. You can buy spare batteries for six bucks. Holy crap. I On their actual website, you can't. <laughs> man, and I threw the old one out. That sucks. <laughs> I was oh, like, well, man, I can't buy anything. I might as well throw the old system out. And now oh. if I go right to PDP, you can buy... The batteries for six dollars, and these are energizers. Each, or is that a pair? Six dollars for one battery, but it's, it's a rechargeable. That's not a bad price at all. Price, it, they yeah. lasted me like four years. <laughs> so, ow, I should have gone there. Oh well, but, <laughs> that's all right. It wasn't a whole lot of money for my current one. So I can't complain. <clears throat> Anyways, let's move on. We got more questions. Uh, yeah. Rob, you want to take the next two? Absolutely. So this is from Stuart. What's your true feeling about Destiny 2 and Bungie releasing PS4 Destiny content on the Xbox after all of these years? And happy Thanksgiving from the angry Canadian. Yeah. Actually, Canadian Thanksgiving, I think it's tomorrow, Monday. Yep. <laughs> it is tomorrow. So... Yeah, and I think he meant Destiny 1. Um, he did. Bungie just released the content yeah. for Destiny 1 that they promised Brun and all other Destiny players for over two years ago. Um, I think it's crap. 
I think it's stupid. I think it it shows the fact that these guys disregard Xbox in every way. It's just another way to crap on them. Um, they're like, oh, here's your old game content. Now that everybody else is playing the new game, they just don't care. You know, that's so messed up, dude. <laughs> that's why I'm not buying Destiny Two. I I I was watching some footage and I'm like, man, I I do want to play it, but you know what? I just I can't get past that fact that I don't want to support a company that craps on a whole community. Screw them. And I'm not. I'm not gonna. They're they're never gonna miss my sixty dollars. I get that. But I sleep better at night knowing I'm not supporting that lame ass company. Ooh, I mean, uh, <laughs> crap. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you got me ranting. Now I said a bad word. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there went our family rating. Oh, man. Oh, there you go, Imes. That should make you're you happy. You're the family police. This will be the one oh. show Brun listens to. And I and I told I told Jesus before we get on here, don't swear. <laughs> And I do for the first time. Uh, you going, man? I agree though oh, with you man. completely, a hundred percent. That it's a messed up way that the way they did that is is completely messed up, and it's disrespectful towards the Xbox players and the community that helped build up a company like yep. Bungie. You know that sucks. All right, next but one. But the Rob. game is fun. <laughs> All right, Rob. <laughs> Rob, let me read the next one. Yeah. Okay, Jason writes in comments on the Star Wars Battlefront 2 beta, if anyone's played it. Fun. Really fun. Lots of fun. Yeah, I, I didn't play it. I mentioned that earlier because I, I just, because I know I'm going to buy it, I, Holden. I don't yeah. want to ruin the experience. Yeah, I just want it to be like, I want to go in fresh on this one. I want it to be exciting. Just like Forza, I don't want to ruin it because I'm hyped for how good it's going to look. I'm just going to wait. I'm going to hold out. So, but I did watch some play. Um, oh my gosh, it looks good. Dude, I'm even excited about the aerial battles. That, that Those mode. Those look so oh cool. Oh my God, that mode. You feel like you're in the movie, man. I'm not kidding. Like that. I was like, wow. Those, they really, they did a good job with that. Yeah. Uh, and, and I'm thinking, wow, I'm not even seeing this stuff in 4K. It, it, I'm seeing it through Mixer, through internet, it sometimes pixelated. You know, <laughs> you know it's not in a 4K stream, and I'm like, whoa! I'm like drooling. I was like, oh, this looks so good. Um, I can't wait to see this thing on the X again. This I have to wait, but it looks so good. And I'm even like, I think I might jump into the multiplayer on this one. Um, and, and here's a weird thing for you, and I don't understand. I own the first one. But I really never played it. I played some of the multiplayer modes and I did enjoy them. But what, and this is weird, what took me out of that game and really I never dived into it, and, and, and I hope they kind of change things with this next one, and, and this is probably going to show my age, <laughs> but there were so many, like when you launch the game and you're at the menu, I felt the menu was confusing and that there were so many like upgrades and weapons and perks and uh, character skins and it there was like so much and I couldn't like grasp my mind around it like what am I doing what am I supposed to I hope it's a little bit more streamlined this time but again yeah, it's probably it's just same. me it, it I'm sure it's just me um, but it kind of <laughs> kept me from like I didn't know I always kept playing with just like the same thing I'm like I don't I don't know something about upgrading the guns not understanding i don't know if it's because they're Star wars guns and not real world guns that make sense to me i it might have been that i don't know but yeah they have like a card system now it's more confusing i think than oh, it was last time great they added card packs and card loot systems and of course they added the, of course they added cards everybody has cards nowadays man come on gotta get you a milk you more <laughs> for more money Yep, more cards. Um, but yeah, the game, the, the menu is still the same. You're gonna have. I had a real hard time. I don't even know how I figured it out, man. But I, uh, I was able to invite people to play with me. But I don't even know how I got to that menu. I have no idea. I couldn't do it again if you asked me to. So I don't even know how. <laughs> yeah. Oh <laughs> uh, well, I guess I'll find out. But I'm yeah. mainly wanting to play the campaign. Um. But I do. I, I've seen enough of the multiplayer. And I'm like, I'm definitely gonna try playing it this time. So we'll see how it goes. 
Rob, did you get a chance to? You didn't play it, right? No, no, I haven't played it. Have you seen any of the footage over the weekend? I've watched a little bit of it. I mean, it looks pretty cool. It, it's I, the game just looks beautiful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, I mean, it looks like a movie, like it Star does. Wars movie. Yeah, that's the best way to describe it. <laughs> yeah, even the original Battlefront was. Yeah, you the are. original Battlefront felt that way. It was like, I remember yeah. the first time I loaded it up, and I was like. Holy crap! It's like I'm like a re- like the first time the stormtroopers came around the corner, I I think I got killed because I just stood there staring at him, <laughs> going, "What the heck?" That, in the headlights. I'm like, "Oh, you were Jedi in like, the headlights." Oh, yeah, man. I was Jedi in the headlight. Right? I was like, "Holy crap! It they look real," and they're like, "Pew pew, dead." Yeah. And I was just, I couldn't believe it. Awesome. It's like I've never seen it look so real. So it looks really good. Yeah, and yeah. the space the space battles is what looks really 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 good. All right, so <laughs> next one. Hey, how are we on time? By the um, way, we're getting close. Because uh, I think we got we got five minutes, well, right? We got no. We started Before late. We got twenty minutes. So, twenty minutes. We got twenty including, minutes, including the five before. Yes. Yeah, that's the total time we've been. So we're good. We started okay. late. All right. Okay. So, all right. Next uh, one is from Brandon. Hey, hey, are hey, you now? All... This is. Now, see, now you're stepping all over me. You had the last two. I get the next two. Oh, whoa, okay. whoa, whoa. <laughs> Man. Hey, Imes, you available to replace Rob on the show? <laughs> we'll just have a purge. <laughs> um, uh, no, go ahead, Rob. I'm just kidding. Man. All right, this is from Brandon. He writes in, are you all 4K ready? What will you play first on the X? I bought Origins, Shadow of War, and Wolfenstein 2, but won't play till the X is here. And I'll dive into Rise of the Tomb Raider 2, finally. Yeah, Rob. That's also what, not 2. What are you going to play first? Finally. Um, Wow, probably Wolfenstein. Mm, that's going to be cool. The strawberry milkshake. I want my strawberry milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think... Um, you got I don't Jesus, know. What do you got? I, I think I'm going to play Assassin's Creed on there. That doesn't come I'm, out until so, what the twenty seventh so though. It comes out oh, on the October. Oh, October. That's right. October. Of October. Are you yeah, gonna wait? Like it, oh, that's a tough one. It's it's, it's only so gonna fun. be like one week. Yes. Do you know how long a week is in gamers time, man? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what, three thousand gamer score? <laughs> yeah, it's like three thousand years in our time, man. Like that's a long time. Um, but yeah, I'll probably definitely want to play Assassin's Creed Origins, or if not Wolfenstein, or yeah, probably one of those two. Yeah, I'm, uh, you know, Battlefront comes out the week after, I think. I think it's the week after the, right? Isn't it like the 17th? Oh, you know what, it might be two weeks. I'll bet you that 17th is a Friday. It's probably one of those early access, pre-order, ultimate $8,000 edition versions that you can play four days early um yeah so probably the op yeah probably forza because it's out um that'll probably be the first one i play and i do have the 4k tv summary to go we're all 4k ready we are all right last so one i've got a, i've got one problem with the 4k what's that and that's that i do my gaming at my computer desk oh so i've been like tinkering here and there like looking online for 4k monitors and that seems to be like a huge pain point like trying to find a 4k monitor that supports the xbox one x features you know like the hdr 10 and all that because a lot of monitors don't do all of that or i was reading some stuff where the monitors aren't correctly identified so i really don't know what i'm gonna do because i mean it's getting close to crunch time over here and um i mean I don't know. I don't know. It'll it'll be interesting to see if anybody else uh, in the community is running into this and what they've done. Because, like I said, every monitor that I see, particularly like the ones that I walk by at like a Sam's Club or Costco, that catch my eye because they're 4K. It's like uh, you know, it's got no specs on the box at all, and it's like yeah. it's like idiot. You know, like those idiot lights that they have on cars. You know, where it, like, flashes, like, a battery symbol, like, when your car just dies because your battery's low, and it, like, is after the fact. I mean, it's just, like, 4K, 
It has a power plug, has an on-off switch, <laughs> and it's rectangular. I mean, okay, that doesn't help me at all. I, yeah. That's that's no specs. So, um, yeah, it's I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah, Put yeah. it on the TV where it belongs, Rob. No, I 4K can't. TV, man. Just I get a 4K can't. TV. I can't. Just sit the big 4K TV on your desk. <laughs> there you go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just prop it up. <laughs> it's it's like sitting in an IMAX in like the front row, like doing like Stevie Wonder, yeah. like watching the whole thing while you're playing. <laughs> That'd be awesome, dude. That was so wrong. What you just said? <laughs> no man, that I was, was just so wrong. Visual. That was so doing Stevie Wonder watching it. Uh, Stevie Wonder's not watching it. Okay, no, that is like, so on, wrong, dude. Right, we are. Oh like, my god. Playing. You got me swearing. We got Rob doing. Oh man! What's oh my on? goodness! I don't Jesus. know what. Wow! We're never letting Sorry. Jesus back on the show. <laughs> I'd say Brun could come back, but he's not going to hear us anyway. So. Yeah, <laughs> no, I was thinking. Even know. Rob, when you were talking about that, I remember playing Call of Duty over oh, yeah, in your yeah. house when you had it on a projector and it took up your whole wall, and I was like, that was so hard. It was so big. It was just like. <laughs> can't play this it's like you're you are you're yeah. doing, where are these people you're actually having to <laughs> turn more <laughs> yeah <laughs> that was crazy all right so we need to move on yep, yep. um last uh email i think came in so this is from yep. g55 train um says so after weeks of bad mouthing the beta that wingman and others have bought is jesus willing to take those comments back after playing this beta himself i think he's referring to Fortnite. yes no, nope, I'm not taking those comments back because I didn't pay for this beta. Right. I'm the, you're version. just playing Battle Royale, which is <laughs> available for yeah. everyone free, right? Yeah, which is amazing how they released that for free before PUBG even came out. Before they're even... I don't think PUBG is coming out this year, man. I just... Those guys don't know what they're doing. They're dragging their feet, man. They're talking with Xbox. I think Xbox might get a version by the end of the year, but it'll probably be December 31st at midnight. Um, sure. Now they're talking with Sony about going over there. It's like, guys, you're, you've sold 10 million copies and haven't even put out a retail game. Yeah. How about get it on to PC and Xbox where you've already said you're going to do before you start talking about other platforms. Get it out. Get a retail they're, out. They're but, money hungry at this point. I, and I think know. they, I mean, they already, they're putting ads in the game for some Chinese, like, VPN company, you know, <laughs> so people are really mad at this company. They got like review bombed this last week. They have wow. like fifteen thousand negative reviews on their on their Steam account because, you know, they've just been dragging their feet on the game. Um, well, I but, put it this way: uh, Fortnite's, and I know it's because of Battle Royale. They went over seven million players this week. Wow, uh, that's crazy. So, but I mean, and, and it's, it's just, it's essentially the same game, you know, and I've been seeing a lot of people streaming it. A lot of people who are doing a lot of, um, PUBG are doing a lot of battle Royale mode from Fortnite. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know at this point, like I, I played Fortnite and I'm like, do I really need PUBG? <laughs> do I really need that? You know, I mean, I've I thought the same thing. It's free... like the modes here, it's the same mode. It's... And it's free. And it's free, <laughs> so, exactly. You don't have to worry about paying for it. So it's like, do you really need to pay 30 bucks for that other game? You know, and there's more know. than one map, right? <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that's I, true. There's I want to play. Um, I played it once, single player. Now that the the now that the uh, squads is out, hit me up, guys. I, will, I would really like to play. It's not something I'm going to probably do single, um, but getting in a squad, I absolutely want to play with other people. So... If you want to do Battle Royale on Fortnite with me, just hit me up, Wingman709. All right. Game's fun. So let's move on. We are running out of time. Um, you reach us on Twitter, this xboxlife.com forward slash Twitter, or forward slash Facebook either way to get to our Facebook community. It is a closed group. All right. What is new this week, Rob? What can we play? What can we spend our money on? Okay, for the week of October 9th through October 15th, we have... On October 10th, Middle Earth Shadow of War, uh, Raid World War II, Danger Zone. On the 11th, we have Shiny. On the 13th, Decay the Mare. And on the 13th, also, we have The Evil Within 
two. Then uh, games with gold titles, Xbox One, we have uh, just started uh, last week. We have Gone Home. And let's see if we're going to be doing a switcheroo this week. We are not. So uh, then on Xbox 360, we have Rayman 3 HD still for another week. Remember, that one is backwards compatible. So you can play it on both systems. And if you're a user of iTunes and that's how you listen to this podcast, please find us on the iTunes store. Give us a rating on there, five stars if you would. The more five-star ratings we get, uh, that really helps us out a lot. Gets us boosted in the rankings over there. Gets us featured. A lot more people find out about the show. And uh, I think that's all we've got here for episode 454. You guys have anything to add before we close up? Did you mention Oxenfree? Is still available till the 15th? Um, no, no, I did not mention that one. So Oxen Free, the Gabby game is available for another week. Okay. All right, Jesus, where can, uh, right. where can they find you? <clears throat> you can find me over on the Horrible Gamers podcast. That is my podcast that I do every week. It's a video game podcast, just like this one, but with a lot more swearing <laughs> and a lot more inappropriate jokes and news topics. <laughs> uh, but you can find me on there every Saturday we stream live on Facebook and um, we go on audio every Sunday find it on iTunes and um, on Xbox Live you can find me at Gamertag Jesus Walks a Lot that is my main platform I game on because uh, yeah Sony sucks and then the Nintendo I can never find one so yeah find me on Xbox Live Je- Jesus Walks a Lot it's my Gamertag it's all one word no spaces find me had me and thank you for having me on guys i really appreciate it it was awesome ah thanks for coming on um all right rob you got anything no sir all right well with that i am mark aka wingman 709 taking off i'm rob Austin, and Mr. thanks for listening everybody